Hi everyone and welcome to Bear Clooney Watches channel. Uh, I am Bear Clooney, Bear Who Loves Watches. This is my cave and on this channel all together we are searching for perfect timepiece. Frankly, it might never happen, but search itself is so much fun. Today I am kind of excited and happy. I just finished watching a Paris Master uh, Tennis in which uh, Novak Djokovic uh, defeated uh, great Roger Federer, uh, making a final of this uh, Paris Master. But uh, even more important, uh, he has uh, become a number one in tennis once again. And that is certainly something that many tennis fans appreciate and love. And uh, for us Serbs, uh, that is certainly something we are very proud of. So it was a great moment and I enjoyed the match. Match was uh, very tight. Uh, it was uh, decided in a tie break. So that itself speaks uh, volumes. Uh, so congratulations to uh, again number one Novak Djokovic. Now today a uh, slightly different kind of quirky video. A uh, couple of days ago in our Facebook group, Horology Talk, almost 20,000 members now, and I invite you all to join us because it's a great uh, horology group. Um, we had, uh, the, the link is on my, on my channel, by the way, if you want to click on it. The gentleman posted a, a comment which was kind of quirky and, and fun, but in the same time made me think. Uh, and it was basically uh, commenting that his pet peeve is when uh, grown men, adults, are giving these childish names to watches, popular nicknames. And uh, I kind of thought about it, and, and I simply could not disagree with him more. I, I really think that he fails to understand that even though we are adults, as he say, uh, this is a hobby, this is fun. And... Uh, in addition to this, if we are for a moment ignoring popular names in Rolex world, which is kind of streamed in a, in a simple direction, I mean, you got so many watches and you know they're pretty much uh, with uh, Rolex Sub, uh, two-tone Sub, uh, uh, GMT, GMT Master 2, Daytona, you know, it's, it's a Rolex uh, Cosmograph, it's, it's simple. There is not too much confusion, but when it comes to Seiko World, oh my God, uh, try to catch on all different references. And then references themselves, they're so long, they're so confusing. So, frankly, kudos to Seiko fanboys for coming up with really cool names, for noticing certain things on watches, making them even more popular, and doing some type of indirect marketing for Seiko. Uh, I actually think it's a lot of fun. And as I mentioned, Seiko actually uh, made me kind of laugh and smile and, and, and understand certain things better about those watches. Uh, so I thought it would be interesting to share with you what I have learned so far in just recent uh, time, uh, going to some Seiko forums and, and reading, uh, reading those, those interesting names that Seiko fans are giving to, to various popular watches. So I put together kind of collage of, of, of uh, pictures illustrating uh, probably most popular, uh, most popular Seiko nicknames, for lack of a better word, and uh, I'll share it with you now, so just uh, uh, let me know what you think. So, so I start with Seiko Monster. Uh, it's a really cool watch, and it's kind of polarizing watch. This die watch 
is uh, loved by many of us for its indestructible construction, high quality build. While those who don't like it like to point its 2D dial, aggressive appearance, it is ugly, it is different, but we love it. We don't think it's ugly. We think it's unique and we think it's really cool. So this watch got its name obviously from its aesthetics. I love it. This is one monster I really love. Second on my list is Iconic Turtle. I mean, take a look at this watch. This Iconic Diver from Seiko has this uniquely uh, shaped uh, uh, cushion case, and uh, it does resemble a turtle shell. So it is absolutely logical why uh, Seiko fans would name this iconic piece Seiko Turtle. Now we come to another iconic timepiece from Seiko, uh, iconic diver again, and it is Seiko Tuna. And then there's some variations from, from that, like an old black PVD one is called Dart Tuna and so on, but um, it's obvious to me, and I'm hoping to all of you, why this watch is called Tuna. It just resembles a can of tuna. The, the case shape is exactly like that, and then it's associated with tuna to, to kind of uh, highlight its uh, diving attributes. And here we have a chronograph, which got its name from the person that made it famous, and that would be astronaut uh, Colonel Pogue, uh, who basically wore this watch at a Skylab control uh, in 1973, making it very famous uh, and interesting even more to those who love uh, space watches, space exploration watches. Uh, this uh, chronograph is beautiful in its own way and very popular. And now we're getting to Seiko Sumo. Uh, reason for its name, I think it has a lot to do with size, with its uh, large appearance. And also, if you're looking at uh, 12 o'clock, uh, it does look like uh, uh, Mawasashi, the underwear worn by Japanese sumo wrestlers. Uh, there's also the different variations, like there is a grumo, green uh, sumo, a blumo, blue sumo, uh, just kind of cool and interesting watch. And now we're looking at the Seiko 5 in, in different variations, different colors, which is simply called uh, Seiko Flieger. Um, it is a very popular watch with obvious homage to the Flieger watches with its dial, with its appearance, and uh, it's simply described as such. I think it's a great, actually, value proposition, value option for those who would like experience of the Flieger watch and looking for a relatively inexpensive piece. And next piece is Seiko S. And ZF17. Okay, do you understand now? Do you see the point? Imagine now remembering this reference number or simply looking at this watch and calling it Seiko Sea Urchin. Obviously, these needles on the dial, these, these needles that are kind of circling the dial and its diving attributes are leading us to this nickname, which is so much easier to remember and popularize, popularizes this watch by simply calling it Seiko Sea Urchin. Cool watch, interesting watch. I like it a lot. And now we're looking at the Seiko SRP493. <laughs> no, no. That's not the way we are going to remember it. But if we call it Seiko Stargate, certainly it will easily stay in our memory. This watch most likely got its name from the marker on the top of the bezel, which if you are familiar with the Stargate movie, TV show, whatever you wanna call it, it makes a whole lot of sense. And here we have extremely popular 
Arnie, who got its name from Arnold Schwarzenegger. He wore this watch in numerous movies, making it extremely popular. This Anadigi uh, timepiece is raising in its value every single day, and uh, it's becoming popular beyond Seiko fanboys. But its name certainly contributed to it. So here it is, the famous Anadigi time iconic piece called Arnie. Another watch made very popular by a very famous movie, Alien, uh, it is exactly called Seiko Ripley Alien. This uh, watch, uh, designed by famous Italian designer Gigiaro, uh, this chronograph, is uh, uh, a truly uh, a perfect example where its nickname, where its pop uh, culture background makes it famous. Just looking at this chronograph and position of its chronograph buttons uh, makes sense why they call it Seiko Bullhead. Now, this is the last watch on my list. There are certainly more nicknamed Seiko watches out there and some other brands. Let me know what they are and please put them in the comment section below. So what do you think? I think it's fun. I think it kind of makes sense. And it's not childish, it's fun. Now, it would be childish if we allow only children to have fun. But I'm sorry, I want to have fun as well. And I'm sure so do you. So that was my quirky little video today regarding these nicknames. Uh, if you can think of any more or anything else that you uh, like to mention, please put them in the comments below. I love to read the comments. And uh, if you want to join me on this channel, please subscribe. I'd like to have you more on this channel. And uh, if you like to join us in Facebook group, Horology Talk, you are welcome as well. Thank you so much all and all the best to all of you.